the tensions between Russia and the West over Ukraine. The U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken and the Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov are presently holding high-level talks in Geneva. The two leaders earlier made their opening remarks in a bid to try and see if the escalating tensions between the two nations can be diffused. So the situation stands at this moment. A Russian submarine reportedly has test fired a caliber cruise missile against a land-based target from the Sea of Japan. This is according to Russia's defense ministry. And this has come amidst Russia's announcement that its navy will conduct a series of military drills this month. The drills will involve all of its fleet in the Atlantic, Pacific, Arctic and also in the Mediterranean. And the Russian military moves are being very closely scrutinized. This is because of a troop build-up near Ukraine. Moscow has time and again denied having any intention to attack Ukraine. Russia is sending two of its S-400 surface-to-air missile defense systems to Belarus as a part of military drills next month. It also includes about eight anti-aircraft missile defense systems. And Russian military forces and hardware have begun arriving in Belarus earlier this week for the Allied Resolve drills. Meanwhile, the Ukrainian Defense Ministry has also released some footage that shows its soldiers conducting drills near the annexed Crimean region. Soldiers practiced rapid deployment of BM-21 Grad multiple rocket launchers they carried out tactical military exercises at a shooting range in the Kherson region. There is a rising fear that a simmering conflict in Ukraine's eastern Donbas region could actually erupt into a bigger full-scale war. Remember, Russia had annexed Crimea in 2014. And amidst this development, the United States also interestingly has given a green signal for the Baltic nations to rush American-made weapons to Ukraine. Lithuanian Defense Minister has confirmed that his country is sending defense and other aid into Ukraine. This in order to try and deter Russia from staging an attack. Latvia has also signaled at its intentions of sending both lethal and non-lethal defense equipment to Ukraine. While Estonia has said that it has plans of sending dozens of Javelin anti-tank missiles. All right, now to help us better understand the situation that is unfolding along the borders with Ukraine, we are joined in by our correspondent Julia Chapman, who is joining us live from Moscow. Now, good afternoon to you, Julia. Thank you very much indeed for joining us in this broadcast. Now, we are given to understand that Sergei Lavrov and Anthony Blinken, the two top diplomats from Russia and the United States, have sat down for negotiations in Geneva. What is expected of these talks? Both sides have said that they do not expect a breakthrough, but what is hoped uh, is that they can kind of walk back uh, from the precipice of war in some way, de-escalate the tensions ongoing right now between Russia and the West over Ukraine with these troops amassed on Russia's border with Ukraine. Uh, there have been several rounds of diplomatic efforts in the last couple of weeks to try to find some sort of common ground uh, to try to ease the crisis uh, that is currently existing between Russia and the West. So far, none of them have yielded any concrete results, um, but also so far there hasn't been an escalation either. Uh, certainly the involvement of the top diplomats of both countries uh, will add fresh impetus to these negotiations, showing that uh, they are serious about these demands that Russia is putting forward uh, and the demands that the U.S. is putting forward for Russia uh, to back down to not invade its neighbor. Uh, Russia has its own proposals that it wants met.
by NATO and the United States over European security, namely that it doesn't want Ukraine to ever become a NATO member and it doesn't want offensive weapons stationed in Eastern Europe. Uh, it says that it sees those things as a security threat to Russia and it wants the West to take those concerns seriously. Um, so certainly the involvement of the two high-level diplomats uh, will be a, a chance for them to negotiate at a much higher level, reflecting uh, the thoughts and the uh, feelings of their leaders. Absolutely indeed. And also what is extremely worrying for people who are looking at this, uh, these negotiations that are unfolding in Geneva are these military drills that have been announced by Moscow. We are given to understand that Russian military hardware is moving into Belarus and Russia has also announced that it will be conducting naval drills. Uh, is it just a coincidence that all of this is happening at the time when negotiations are being held or is this being used as a leverage by the Russians? I think it's impossible to rule out anything as a coincidence at this point. It does certainly show that Russia is readying its military to a level of preparedness uh, that does su suggest some sort of intention to invade. Uh, but officials in the U.S. believe that Russia hasn't made the decision to do so yet. Uh, it's still really dependent on these negotiations and their outcome. But yes, there are military drills ongoing between uh, Russia and Belarus on Belarusian territory very near the Ukrainian border. Uh, uh, there have been drills in southern Russia near the Ukrainian border in recent weeks and now massive naval drills taking place uh, in Russia in all the bodies of water that it borders from the Sea of Ahotsk in Japan to the North Sea in the northwest and down to the Mediterranean uh, at the same time as Russia is carrying out drills with China and Iran, uh, naval drills that are happening in the Persian Gulf. Uh, so a huge amount of military activity ongoing with Russia at the moment. Um, it certainly doesn't do anything to reduce tensions. Uh, it's putting a lot of pressure on the West um, and certainly is an indicator uh, that Russia is prepared to take military action if it sees fit. Absolutely indeed. Thank you very much indeed, Julia Chapman, for joining us from Moscow and getting us all those updates there. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.